Alrighty folks, welcome back to the Mavericks Dynasty. Today we're just getting right into it. No shenanigans. This uniform looks pretty interesting. I don't know. Kind of basic, but we got Tennessee. Tennessee is not ranked. We're number one, so this should be a walk in the park, but you never know. Their defense is pathetic, but they'll probably just do good things, and their offense is not actually half bad. And our defense, again, top 70 for pass defense. You've got to respect that skill level. But what the hell has happened to our offense? Somehow we're still number one. I don't know how. And again, we got a bunch of visits. Brandon Jackson, the number one athlete. A bunch of great players that we need. So we got a pass for 250 for Brandon. Two interceptions and four sweat of passes. That's hard to get. But I think we can get the sacks and TFLs with the D-line. A nice night game. You love to see it. You love the environment. And it just feels very at home with all our fans here. Always conservative catching. Never be led astray on defense. Sometimes I like to do big hits and strips on conservative as well. Man, their quarterback's a 98 overall. That's not what I wanted to see. And their running back a 97. Come on. Birch is injured, so their cornerback's looking a little weak. And we are starting in a fantastic position. Huge gain to start the game. You could, you know, really, we got to start like this, like a bunch of losers. Now that's a form tackle. Thank you, Orgy. That should have been a pick, 100%. No way on God's green earth that that was not an interception. And we just did not have any good coverage there. That sucks. We send a blitz and still get absolutely shat upon. And I just completely whiff that tackle. This dude out here trying to look like Peyton Manning. He's pretty good, so well, that's, look at that. Please jump that. Chip Hines, how did we not intercept that? We had 17 hands on the ball there. That would have been a clutch play. Now they're going to score. And I just... I suck. Okay, Diggs, I see you out here working hard. That's that time in the weight room. I'll tell you what. Let's go. Easy, and Gardner's somehow outspeeding. Let's go, Gardner. I see you out there working, big man. Ethan Adrian, too easy on that slant route. His second touchdown of the year, I believe. We'll take that four-yard touchdown. Because Harvey, he just does shit on the fly. And Adrian, you can tell they've been spending a lot of time together in practice. You know he's not going to stay late in practice to get in that those extra reps, but somehow it's working out. We string him out, and that is going to be it. Jamal McPherson doing work. We go with the zone, and it works out. They try to target the middle of the field. It's time to punt the ball, Tennessee. Welcome to hell. And John's too good. Corey Kaysen's going to get a touchdown. Easy money. When you press, you make a big mistake. Oh, no. Carlos Atkins out for eight weeks. He broke his collarbone. That's not good. He's a star. That's Matt Irvin's going to have to definitely step up. Scotty Watkins and the rest of the crew. We're going to need to make a tackle here. Matt Irvin, his first play. Zero yards. Good work, buddy. He's been a veteran of this team, and he's finally getting his shot. After this game, I might have to move our linebackers around. Probably Scotty or Gio might have to step in at linebacker. Uh-oh. I like Scotty and Gio on the outside, but we might just slide one of them in, potentially. Or see who we got. Matt Irvin's a good player, but I don't know. He's just kind of got not a ton of speed to him. See, like in this situation, we really don't let Matt Irvin out here guarding people. And, yeah, that's kind of my bad, but... Good pursuit by the linebackers there. Matt Irvin did a good job getting it up, and I don't know who got the tackle officially. Anthony Hughes, nice work, buddy. Can Matt Irvin make the tackle? Of course not. That's unfortunate. Ooh, big hit by... I don't know who that was. And, well, that's a touchdown. Don't know what I was doing. I was in La La Land. Ooh, Alvarez is too good. Good night, folks. The showstopper.
The, this is the best kick return duo in the entire world. These guys are just... I mean, Alvarez, did anyone see them cut? It was so filthy. And Scotty Watkins makes a pretty weird tackle. That was on me, though, because I was controlling him. Yeah, Chip Hines, that's not going to work in the NFL, buddy. Ooh, Antonio Daniel, the safety with the lurk. And all he's got to do is beat Peyton Manning. Good night. Daniel up to the 36. That was some good shit. That corner route is usually all she wrote, but that is some athleticism right there. Daniel was one of the first recruits we ever got. When he leaves, I'm definitely going to be crying, but he just made Peyton Manning look stupid. Gardner again. Stiff arm this man. Thank you. Do what you were born to do. This man looks like an athletic tight end freak out here, and he just put that man's face in the dirt. You'd love to see it. Let's watch it again and see a close-up if we can, if ESPN would do some good camera work here. Look at this. Look how forceful this is. Good night. Oh my god. And Alvarez is going to get a touchdown off of it. Trey Smith with a beautiful touchdown throw. The backup quarterback. He's one of the best backup quarterbacks in this country. I don't know how he did not transfer. This guy could be starting at so many other schools, but he sticks with us, and we love that loyalty. And big one-yard loss. Who was it? Scotty Watkins with another TFL. Look at him out there with his beard. Looking majestic like he just came out of a cooler, for, for, been in there for 15 years. Look at this young man right here. The lane was free, but we got to make this tackle here. We got the pursuit. They try to run outside. Never do that against this team. Good tackle by Kenny Dickerson. Diggs is just too fast. Too fast with this. Oh no, oh no. Go Diggs. Let's go. Are they really coming out in this kind of front here? I don't see why it would be logical, but Diggs is too good. He's going to get a huge gain down to the five. And we make the field goal before half. Good work, but everybody. Great team effort. Oh my god, Diggs is just so good. Oh my god, we're going to get two kick returns in one game. Thomas Diggs and Keith Alvarez are brothers. Blood brothers by absolute right. And they are trying to outshine each other here. They are gods. Oh, we just got shredded and embarrassed. But we're up big, so it takes the sting away. Screen pass. I missed the tackle. I am so... And they get a touchdown. Fair enough. John Hall. Yeah, okay, yeah, go figure, that worked out. Great blocking out there. JJ hit him with the stiff arm. Alvarez, thank you, sure-handed buddy. Could have hit either one of them, make a good block. And Tim Goss, I believe, yes, the third string freshman running back. Good to see him out there doing work. And the speed is too much. We almost had a touchdown there. Diggs is pissed. Oh boy, that was scary. I made a mistake. Yep. I read that way too late. Dumb decision, but at least Ethan got a tackle. Yeah, sometimes I'm just so slow. My brain just does not function properly. And it's like there's a some kind of rodent on a wheel. Although, be, I'll be honest, I, it kind of reminds me of that guy from Jack and Daxter that had a bird cage in, where his brain's supposed to be. Sometimes that's how I feel in life and in this game with that stupid play I made. You gotta catch up, we gotta recover. And they somehow give him that bullshit EA. This Warren Mitchell dude, I swear to God, his pasty ass needs out of this game. Good tackle by Lewis, good wrap up. That's got to be a pick. You have got to be kidding me, Josh Turner. Burn in hell. That's what you deserve. Good drop, buddy. And Peyton Manning Jr. scrambles again. We're not doing great here on defense.
Diggs is gonna do it again. The greatest return man in history, him and Alvarez, the greatest of all time. You cannot say anything else. Three returns in one game. Let's go, Mavericks. Good tackle, a TFL. Who was it? Gio West with the TFL. You'd love to see it. One of our subscribers, and he also has a YouTube channel making a sack here. He's got a lot going on in his life. Don't know how he's managing this one. Wow. And I over pursue that like a mug. The hell was that? We will take that sack. Jamal Mick Fear Son. No pH. Scotty Watkins eats it up in the backfield. Warren Mitchell. That is going to be a great play for Scotty Watkins. You can tell this man drinks a lot of muscle milk and he is doing great work out here. This is probably his best game of the year. Going with the screen. It's going to work. They're going to get the yards, but they're going to have to kick a field goal or go for it. Fourth and 12. I'm not in a good formation. That's my bad. Although we had the screen blown up, but I got lost in transition. What's this flag? Oh, offensive pass interference. That was on me. I want that. I want this man thrown in jail. I'll accept it. Now they're deciding for the field goal. Don't know how that benefits them, but... Should be able to run this one out. Good run by JJ. Going with the fullback blast here. They only gave us a third in inches. Not fair. And O'Connor will just run him over. And that should do it. They got no more timeouts. Going to run that ball out and we are out of here. That's embarrassing. I'm sorry, Tennessee. That's pathetic. Diggs. My God, the cutting is insane. Put our third string quarterback in, Manning. He, we redshirted him last year. He's a Manning somehow. Putting him in here, letting him uh, kind of get himself a little bit of action. Just complete a nice pass to Gardner real quick. You got to get the young ones involved. All right, that's going to do it for Tennessee. It was a little closer than I would have liked. Defense really didn't come to play. Thomas digs, though. What a freaking monster. But I'm definitely proud of the team. Our return game was on point. I'm glad we got our third string quarterback involved. And overall, offensively, besides my one mistake, I think we did great. And stats on the day, Trey Smith 1 for 1 for 32 yards and a touchdown. Great day from him. John Harvey 8 for 12 for 193. Two touchdowns and my one dumb interception. And Joe Manning never stepped on the field for the Mavericks before at Texas City, Texas. He is a hometown guy. One completion for 7 yards. Good to see it. His family's going to be ecstatic to see that. J.J. Taylor 9 carries 53 yards. A beautiful 5.8 average and a touchdown. Thomas Diggs 4 for 46. 11.5 average and the fullback 2 for 10. Gardner, four catches, 69 yards. Alvarez, two for 43 in a tutty. Thomas Diggs got one for 32. Mr. Goss, one for 13. Corey Kaysen, one for 71 in a tutty. And Ethan Adrian, one for four in a touchdown. Orgy, Daniel, and Scotty Watkins actually led, led the team with tackles. If I could stop stuttering like a dum-dum. And Jamal McPherson with two TFLs, one of which was a sack. Scotty Watkins got two TFLs. Big day for him. Dickerson, Hughes, and Gio West all also got tackles for loss. And Antonio Daniel with that one beautiful interception. That actually saved us. John Gray and Orgy both got deflections. And Thomas Digg, two kick return touchdowns for 246 yards. And Keith Alvarez also got himself a return touchdown. Great day from the return man. Definitely going to go ahead and get the second perk of Insta Commit. Mr. Adam Castillo, four star receiver from Kingfisher, Oklahoma. Definitely a good guy, 93 speed, 86 XL. The catching is a little rough, but he's not expected to be a baller right away. Tristan Knowles, a creative recruit from Waco, Texas. He was one of the Facebook creative recruits that I asked for, so it looks like he decided finally to come join us. And he's going to be playing fullback for us. Decent little speed for a fullback. Definitely got some decent blocking and some good running moves. 84 break tackle, so... And Brandon Jackson, the number one athlete in the country. Speed's nothing to be too excited about. He's got a decent quarterback, 89 throw power, 80 accuracy. Kevin Weber, four-star defensive tackle, 80 overall from Bay City, Texas. Looking very good to start out his year, 79 finesse moves. 
Eric Green, Christian Bernal still in the lead for here. Alright, that was a fun game, I will say. I loved it. I enjoyed it thoroughly. We are being picked. We are number one overall still. Texas A&M is an A-plus in every regard. The fact that we're doing this with an A-plus offense and a B defense and just doing great things is a testament to our strength and will to live, I think. Kind of a look at our guys here doing good things. But yeah, if you enjoyed the episode, consider subscribing. we got a long way to go this season. We're kind of getting to the tail end of it, but next year is going to be very interesting with all our creative recruits and all the chaos going on. If we can win a natty here, that'll be two years in a row, and we'll be pretty much set to go to that third year and try to win one more and kind of end the series the way that the Mavericks deserve. We kind of really came a long way. But that is going to do it for this episode. Peace out.